And well, hello there, everybody. So in this video, I'm going to be putting wow. in some hooks inside up. the van. Just something so that I can hang little bags and maybe a coat every so often. Now, some of you have already noticed it in a previous video. I'm using a head-mounted camera, and it seems to be working okay. Of course, the only issue is sometimes I forget that I have this camera and I'm moving my head all over the place and I think people are starting to get dizzy. So this one here, it's not as bad as the previous ones. This time I was able to sort of keep in mind that, hey, I have to keep my head fairly still. That way I'm not making you guys dizzy as I'm working. But I think the main advantage is that you can clearly see what I'm doing and much better than maybe just a, a shot from the side and you can't really see what I'm doing here. It's so like it's sort of like one of those point of view things. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like the video, please hit that like button. And if you think this channel is worthy, please subscribe. This was a really good deal. I picked up these hooks at the dollar store for about a dollar fifty each.
And so this next part here, you'll notice that the camera is kind of off. You can't really see what I'm doing. So hopefully my next video, I'll keep that in mind and I'll point it so that you can actually see what I'm actually doing in front of my hand. But for the most part, much of the scene shows what I am doing. And here's an example of the type of shot that you can get with a head mounted camera. So you can clearly see what I'm trying to do, that I'm trying to line it up, that I'm trying to see where it would fit. And in most cases, I'd have to go through all kinds of acrobatics, camera acrobatics, to get this shot. By having a head mounted camera, it makes it that much easier. Since the first one went so well, I decided to put a second one in. Originally, I just wanted to put one set of hooks in, but I think a second one would be useful. <laughs> 